Welcome to our video on the power of atomic habits. In this video, we'll be discussing the importance of focusing on small, incremental changes in our daily routines and how these seemingly small habits can lead to big results over time. The book Atomic Habits was written by James Clear, a best-selling author, speaker, and entrepreneur. Have you ever tried to make a significant change in your life, only to find that it's much harder than you thought? Maybe you've tried to start exercising regularly, eat healthier, or improve your productivity at work, but found that it's difficult to stick to these changes for more than a few days or weeks. This is where the concept of atomic habits comes in. The idea behind atomic habits is that it's much easier to make small, incremental changes to our daily routines than it is to try to overhaul our entire lives at once. By focusing on building good habits and breaking bad ones one step at a time, we can gradually transform our lives without the overwhelming effort that often comes with trying to make big changes. So why are atomic habits important for personal and professional success? Well, the truth is that our habits have a huge impact on every aspect of our lives. From the way we eat and exercise, to the way we work and interact with others, our habits shape who we are and what we are capable of achieving. By building good habits, we can improve our health, increase our productivity, and build more positive relationships. On the other hand, if we allow bad habits to take hold, they can hold us back and prevent us from reaching our full potential. That's why it's so important to focus on building and maintaining good habits. By doing so, we can gradually improve ourselves and our lives in meaningful and lasting ways. Stay tuned as we'll be exploring the key points and takeaways from the book Kotamic Habits and providing tips and strategies for building and maintaining positive habits in your own life. One of the main ideas in the book is the concept of the 1% rule, which suggests that small, incremental improvements can lead to significant results over time. According to Clear, if we can consistently improve by just 1% every day, we can end up with a 37-fold improvement after just one year. This is because these small improvements compound over time, much like the way that interest compounds in a savings account. Another key takeaway from the book is the role that identity plays in shaping our habits. Clear argues that our habits are an expression of our identity and that by changing our habits, we can gradually change our identity as well. For example, if we consistently engage in habits that are consistent with being healthy and fit, we will gradually become the type of person who is healthy and fit. On the other hand, if we engage in habits that are consistent with being unhealthy and out of shape, we will gradually become that type of person as well. So, how can we use this information to build better habits? One key strategy is to focus on building habits that are consistent with the type of person we want to become. For example, if we want to become the type of person who is fit and healthy, we can focus on building habits that support this identity such as exercising regularly and eating a healthy diet. Next, we'll be exploring the four laws of behavior change and how they can be used to build good habits and break bad ones. The first law is the law of cue. According to Clear, habits are triggered by cues, which are things that signal to our brain that it's time to start a certain behavior. For example, the cue for the habit of brushing might be the feeling of hunger or the sight of food. By identifying the cues that trigger our habits, we can become more aware of them and start to exercise more control over our behavior. The second law is the law of craving. 
Cravings are the desire for a certain outcome or reward, and they are what drive us to take action. For example, the craving for a delicious meal might drive us to cook, or the craving for approval might drive us to work hard on a project. By understanding our cravings and the rewards that we are seeking, we can better understand our habits and find more effective ways to satisfy them. The third law is the law of response. This law is all about the actual behavior or action that we take in response to a cue and craving. For example, if the cue is feeling hungry and the craving is for a delicious meal, the response might be to cook or go out to eat. By understanding the responses that we take in response to cues and cravings, we can start to shape our habits in more positive ways. The fourth law is the law of reward. Rewards are the positive outcomes or consequences that we experience as a result of our habits. For example, the reward for exercising regularly might be improved physical health, or the reward for eating a healthy diet might be feeling more energetic. By understanding the rewards that we seek from our habits, we can find more effective ways to get them and build better habits. So how can we use these laws to build good habits and break bad ones? By understanding the cues, cravings, responses, and rewards that drive our habits, we can start to exercise more control over them and shape them in more positive ways. For example, if we want to break the habit of procrastination, we might try to identify the cues that trigger it such as feeling overwhelmed and find more productive responses such as breaking tasks down into smaller chunks. By doing this, we can start to build more productive habits and break the cycle of procrastination. Next, we'll be discussing strategies for implementing and sticking to positive habits. One strategy that can be useful when trying to establish a new habit is habit stacking. Habit stacking involves attaching a new habit to an existing one, which makes it easier to remember and incorporate into our routines. For example, if you want to start meditating every day, you might try stacking it onto an existing habit like brushing. By doing this, you can make it easier to remember to meditate and it will become a more automatic part of your routine. Another strategy that can be helpful when trying to build positive habits is temptation bundling. Temptation bundling involves pairing a desirable activity with an undesirable one, which can make it more enjoyable and easier to stick to. For example, if you want to start exercising regularly but find it boring, you might try temptation bundling by pairing it with something you enjoy, like listening to music or watching TV. This way, you can make exercising more enjoyable and more likely to stick. It's also important to remember that building good habits takes time and effort, and it's normal to face challenges and setbacks along the way. One way to overcome these challenges is to make sure that you have a strong motivation or reason for building the habit. This can help you stay focused and motivated, even when things get tough. Another helpful tip is to set specific, achievable goals for yourself, rather than trying to overhaul your entire life at once. Focus on making small, incremental changes that you can realistically stick to. This will make it easier to build momentum and stay motivated. Finally, don't be afraid to seek support from friends, family, or a coach or mentor. Having someone to hold you accountable and provide encouragement and guidance can be incredibly helpful when trying to build new habits. Now, let's discuss case studies and examples of individuals who have successfully transformed their lives through the power of atomic habits. One example is a woman named Sarah, who used the power of atomic habits to lose weight and improve her health. 
Sarah struggled with her weight for years and had tried numerous diets and exercise programs without much success. Frustrated and feeling like she had hit a dead end, Sarah decided to try a different approach. Instead of trying to overhaul her entire lifestyle all at once, Sarah focused on making small, incremental changes to her daily habits. She started by making small changes to her diet, such as cutting out sugary drinks and snacking on healthier options like fruit and nuts. She also began exercising regularly, but rather than trying to do intense workouts all at once, she started with just a few minutes of activity each day and gradually built up from there. Over time, these small changes added up and Sarah was able to lose weight and improve her health in a sustainable way. She found that by focusing on building good habits and breaking bad ones one step at a time, she was able to achieve her goals without the overwhelming effort and frustration that had held her back in the past. Another example is a man named Tom, who used the power of atomic habits to improve his productivity and achieve his career goals. Tom was a highly ambitious person, but struggled with procrastination and difficulty staying focused on his work. Frustrated with his lack of progress, Tom decided to try a different approach. Rather than trying to overhaul his entire work routine all at once, Tom focused on making small, incremental changes to his daily habits. He started by setting specific, achievable goals for himself and breaking them down into smaller tasks that he could work on each day. He also implemented strategies like habit stacking and temptation bundling to make his work more enjoyable and easier to stick to. Over time, these small changes added up and Tom was able to significantly improve his productivity and make progress towards his career goals. He found that by focusing on building good habits and breaking bad ones one step at a time, he was able to achieve more in less time and feel more fulfilled in his work. These are just a couple of examples of the transformative power of atomic habits. By focusing on small, incremental changes to our daily routines, we can gradually transform ourselves and our lives in meaningful and lasting ways. Also, Clear shared some tips for overcoming common challenges and pitfalls when trying to establish new habits. One common challenge when trying to build new habits is the temptation to try to change too much at once. It's natural to want to make significant improvements to our lives all at once, but this can often be overwhelming and lead to burnout. To avoid this, it's important to remember to focus on small, incremental changes that you can realistically stick to. This will make it easier to build momentum and stay motivated. Another common pitfall when trying to build new habits is failing to plan for setbacks and challenges. Habits don't always come easily, and it's normal to face obstacles and setbacks along the way. To overcome these challenges, it's important to have a plan in place for how you will handle them when they arrive. This might include finding a support system of friends or a coach or mentor, or finding ways to make the habit more enjoyable and easier to stick to. It's also important to remember to be patient and consistent when trying to build new habits. Habits don't form overnight, and it can take time and effort to establish them. Don't get discouraged if you don't see results right away and be consistent in your efforts to build the habit. With time and dedication, you will be able to see progress and achieve your goals. Finally, it's important to be kind to yourself and remember that building new habits is a journey, not a destination. It's normal to face challenges and setbacks along the way, and it's important to be patient and compassionate with yourself as you work towards your goals. As we've seen throughout this video, 
Habits play a huge role in shaping our lives and determining our success. By building good habits and breaking bad ones one step at a time, we can gradually transform ourselves and our lives in meaningful and lasting ways. The power of atomic habits lies in the fact that small, incremental changes can lead to significant results over time. By consistently working on improving ourselves, we can achieve our goals and live more fulfilling lives. But it's important to remember that building new habits takes time and effort, and it's normal to face challenges and setbacks along the way. The key is to be patient, consistent, and compassionate with ourselves as we work towards our goals. So as you work on building and maintaining positive habits in your own life, remember to focus on small, incremental changes that you can realistically stick to and be consistent in your efforts to improve. With time and dedication, you can achieve your goals and live the life you want. What is your biggest takeaway from the book Atomic Habits and how do you plan to follow it? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching our video on the transformative power of Atomic Habits. We hope that you found it helpful and inspiring. And we wish you all the best as you work on building and maintaining positive habits in your own life. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as we review more helpful books. Thank you.